Hey, what's going on, guys? The Horror Man back on day 10 of Monster Mayhem with my review of The Mummy's Hand. They did the mash. They did the monster. Mayhem. The Mummy's Hand is the 1940 sequel to The Mummy, and it's included here on The Legacy Collection, this DVD set containing all of the Mummy films, which I decided to show in this video. Although it follows the 1932 film, it doesn't really connect. It's not a direct sequel. It establishes a new storyline. This one follows two archaeologists in Cairo who set out to find the tomb of an Egyptian princess. Their expedition is funded by a magician and his daughter. They tag along as the archaeologists instead uncover the tomb of a man who was buried alive. In the process, they mistakenly resurrect the mummy, and a killing spree commences. The mummy's hand is an interesting one. It has a unique tone. It almost feels like an Abbott and Costello movie, especially with the two archaeologists. The first half of the film seems like a straight comedy, but the second half is more serious and darker. It's like someone hit a switch from humor to horror halfway through. I will say, though, that when the mummy starts killing, it gets really good. And we get to see a lot more of the mummy in this movie than the first The Mummy. This sequel definitely offers the goods in that respect. Once again, like the first film, I love the setting in this sequel. I really like the Cairo marketplace, but I especially like the pyramids. Much of the movie, with its hour and seven minute runtime, is set inside the tombs. I also really like the look of the mummy, and the kills are well done. The Mummy's Hand is another strong sequel in the Universal Classic Monsters universe. Have you seen it? If so, what do you think of it? Comment below and let me know. And please be sure to check out Jason's review. What's up next for Monster Mayhem? Check back soon to find out. Until then, thanks for watching, guys. Hit that thumbs up and be kind. Subscribe. <laughs>